Well, hello there. Happy Sunday evening. Happy 4th of July. I'm sporting my stars. No stripes, just stars. <laughs> On this 4th of July, I hope you've had a good weekend, and I hope you've had a great Sunday. Um, you may have some fireworks planned for the evening. Just uh, be safe, of course, but uh, do enjoy time with your family and friends. If you're watching this on the replay, I am I hope you had a great time and got to do some grilling and other fun stuff over the weekend. I have uh, had a chance to uh, enjoy a few fireworks last night and then also uh, get to spend time with a few friends and uh, do a little grilling as well. So uh, we've had a good weekend. Last weekend, we had Paint Party Live. Thank you so much to the ladies who came out and painted with me. We did the uh, Sunset Dolphin door hanger, and that turned out really, really pretty. Uh, got a bunch of talented ladies out there let me tell you so they all did a wonderful job and even posted a few pictures on uh, their own Facebook pages with their uh, creations hey real quick before we get to the fabulous flamingo that I'm going to be painting tonight I uh, want to give a shout out to Regina congratulations Regina you are my mailbox delight winner for the month of June. So I'll be getting that out to you this week. Maybe a little slow because of the holiday, but I, it will get to you, I promise. <laughs> so I'll be, uh, I'll be watching that and make sure it arrives safely. All right, so let's see what we've got here on the crafting table for the evening. This is a flamingo, of course, and uh, no, he's he's not missing his eye on purpose. I just didn't draw it in. We'll uh, we'll add that in in a little bit. So we're going to get started on this, and this is actually a flamingo by the seaside with a, a pretty little hibiscus flower in the corner. So we're going to be using a lot of pretty blues and some pinks in this one. I don't have my... Um, handy dandy egg carton for this one. I am going to be using just a regular styrofoam plate and we're going to put, uh, this is buttermilk color. We're going to put that on and use that for our sand color. I like using the buttermilk for um, the sand color and we may mix just a little bit of white in with this and lighten it up just a little bit. Y'all, this poor bottle, I have to tell you, I uh, I buy the bigger bottles and refill my smaller bottles a lot of times, and the lid on this one is so worn out. <laughs> it won't stay open anymore. All right, I'm going to turn the flamingo sideways, because this is a 16 by 20 canvas, and so it's... It's going to work a little faster if I turn it sideways. So I'm going to grab just a uh, two inch brush here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in some of the buttermilk. And I'm just going to work across the canvas with the buttermilk. And then I'm going to come back and put a little white in with it so that there's a little bit of variation. The middle of our hibiscus is going to be kind of that buttermilk color as well. So I'm just going to kind of work back and forth and just put it all the way across. And if you notice, I'm covering up the flamingo and the flower, and that's, that's okay. This one's coming to the end of its... Uh, of its journey that uh, <laughs> that poor can of, uh, or a uh, bottle of buttermilk. But I do have another one on hand, so we're, we're good to go. Just gonna come across and put our buttermilk color here so that way it's in the background. And then like I said, I'm just gonna take some white 
and kind of blend in with it. So while it's still wet, and I'm not going to rinse the brush, I'm just going to blend some white in there. And just go over the top. I hear fireworks starting in the background. So if you hear something that sounds like um, <laughs> we're having all kinds of crazy shenanigans going on in the background, that would be the fireworks. All right, so just mixing in a little bit of white, not trying to not trying to cover up the buttermilk, and I really don't want it white white because my canvas is white. So I wanted to give it some color, but I do like having uh, a little bit of white in there just so it's it's not the white sand, but it it's not. Uh, You know, it's somewhere in between. And one of our neighbors has discovered fireworks, I think, in a bucket. <laughs> That's what it sounds like anyway. So it's, uh, we had this going on a little earlier. My husband was like, what in the world? <laughs> I said, well, it sounds like fireworks in a bucket. <laughs> All right, I think that is just about the sand color that I am looking for. So we're going to we're going to stop. Otherwise, I'll end up having it too far to the other side and I'll have to come back and redo it. Okay. So we're going to end our sand color there. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to jump over to the middle section. And this middle section is our water. So we've got sand, water, and sky on the end over here that you can't see at the moment. All right, stick that brush in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a just a one-inch brush. And I'm going to start with, this is Sea Breeze. I really, really like this color. The um, I think the very first, the very first pair of flip-flops I did, if I'm not mistaken, I did in this color. And I just like this color. So we're going to put a little sea breeze on here to get it going. And we're going to add in also a little bit of, uh, it's called Laguna. So we're going to have just a little bit of that in there. And probably we're going to add just a little bit of this yellowy green. And I know you're thinking, yellowy green? It's okay. <laughs> I'm going to blend it all together. And also a little bit of true blue. We're going to blend it all together. We're going to, you'll see how we're, what we're going to come up with. All right, let me check real quick. I always have to check and make sure Facebook is still going because sometimes it freezes on me. Yes, it is frozen. Hmm. All right. Well, I have um, found that I can't always trust Facebook for telling me that I am actually actually alive and in person. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. Periodically, the, the screen will freeze. And I have discovered that I've, if I just keep going, then, um, then everything turns out good. So we're just going to keep going. I'm just going to run down my line here. This is going to be my line that breaks. Um, Actually, I thought I might not go across the flamingo, but I take that back. In order to do the blending, I'm going to need to go across all of this. So we're just going to, whoa, wrong color. We're just going to go across all of it. All 
A lot of times if it's a project I'm working on, I will layer. So I'll come in, I'll do all the blending and everything that needs to be done, and then I'll come back and I'll put, I'll trace out like the flamingo and the flower. Y'all, time out. I have found, I don't know, I'm getting messier or something. Or maybe I'm trying to get faster and I end up slinging paint all over the place. So <laughs> Even last week at Paint Party Live, I walked away with paint on me, y'all. I was like, really? I had an apron on and I still managed to find a spot where the apron wasn't covering and I got paint on me. So, yes, I had to come home and work on my shirt and get it all... Get it all taken care of. All right, so what I'm doing now is I am just taking some of what is called Laguna. And I'm just going back and forth and blending it in. Not really to change the color, but if you see, I'm just kind of making variations to the water. So I'm just making some variations in the color of the water. And I'm going to do that again with the other colors I've got here as well. So you're going to see several variations going on. So like, um, let's see, where's, there's my flamingo. All right, here is the yellow green. Now, I'm not going to take this all the way across, but I'm just going to go back and forth right here just as it gets closer to shore okay so we've got just a little bit of variation you know how the water has as you see it out deeper it has this darker color Okay, so I'm doing the darker color out deep or out far away. And then as you get closer, and I'm just going to wipe that off on the edge because what I really want, eh, I need some more sea breeze. What I really want is my sea breeze to kind of help lighten that up a little bit. So I'm just going to dip in that and I'm just going to come back and go back and forth kind of in a figure eight on this one. Just a really thin kind of figure eight. And just blend in the darker. And no, it's not a perfectly straight line. As I go across, and then I'm just going to do a little bit of a light touch with my brush and go back and forth and create the darker color blue as you get further out. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to dip in white and I'm going to bring some white up close to the sea, uh, up close to the sand, okay? Not a lot, just a little bit. So that way you can see that, you know, it varies as you get closer to, to shore. Your watercolor changes. All right, here. Let's turn it around this way just for a minute so that way you can see what it looks like upright. Also, it'll give me a chance to look at it and see if there's anything I need to adjust. Maybe add a little more Laguna in spots or...
maybe add a little more white in some spots. Maybe we'll make one part look like uh, a little more wave action up close to the shore. Wow. <laughs> Happy Fourth of July. <laughs> I like to play with the ocean part, so I could be here all day. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get to the, to the sky. And I'm going to flip it around this way, so that way it'll be better uh, in better camera view. Now, I'm going to rinse this brush because the sky, I'm still going to be using the um, uh, sea breeze color, but I am going to... Add some white into it so that way it's a little bit a uh, little bit lighter than what I don't want it to blend too closely with my uh, with my ocean color so just get a little more sea breeze and I'm gonna need a little more white All right, so we're going to work here on the sky. And I'm going to do it just like I did um, the sand part. I'm going to put this color down first, and then I'm going to come back and mix in some white with it. So we're just going to work kind of quickly. So that way... It won't dry too much. And you may be wondering, well, I don't really see the flamingo anymore. I can see the outline and I always keep my, um, always keep the template close by as well as some graphite paper in case I need to trace over it again. But I think I can see through it see through well enough that um, I can get the outline of the flamingo going. All right, just a little bit more because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it uh, lighter as we get closer to as we get closer to the water. So I'm going to come back in here and come over the top of sea breeze with the white, and you can add. You can add as much white as you want to make it lighten up. And I may come back and add some more. And I'm just using a back and forth motion to blend it in. You can also use a figure eight, which goes like this. You can make it short and fast, or you make it long, or you can just go back and forth.
Now, as I get closer to the shore, what I want to do is use more white. And the reason I want to use more white is because I want it to be light as it gets right there at the water line. Now I've still got the green or the sea breeze color coming through, but I want the darker sea breeze to be up toward the top. All right, so now we're going to turn this around, let you see a glimpse of the sky with the white figured in. And I may come back, try to uh, get this straightened up a little bit. Yes, I made a mess. I dripped some of the... I dripped some of the sea breeze onto the blue. Which is not that big of a deal. We can always go back and get it fixed. Because what I may do is take just a little bit of the blue and try to even up my line here. But then, you know, like we said before, we want to make sure that we've got We want to make sure we've got it blended. what I'm doing is I'm coming back with Laguna. Okay. We will touch this up just a little bit here. Once we get through with our flamingo. What I want to do right now is move on to our hibiscus. And we're going to get it going to get it going here. All right, so I'm still going to use, or you know what, I'm going to grab a different, uh, oh, there it is, right there in front. I'm going to grab a different brush. Again, it's still, uh, it's pretty close to a one inch brush. I'm going to use this one for my hibiscus. And what I'm going to do, first I'm going to check and see if Facebook is still frozen. Okay. If you are making comments, um, number one, I apologize because I can't see them because it's froze. Uh, number two, I will answer them as soon as I finish up. So if I am not seeing your comments, again, I apologize and I will answer them. Any questions or make comments once we are wrapped up here. All right. I'm going to kind of angle this a little bit or, you know what, I'm just going to go back to the side. That way you can see what I'm doing. I am going to start, and the color I'm using right now is called uh, Carousel Pink. Carousel Pink is the color that I am starting off with. So we're just going to add some Carousel Pink onto these pretty, pretty petals here. We're going to get it going 
And then we're going to layer in some other colors. for our pretty hibiscus. So with the sand color, I can see through it pretty good. So I can still see my lines. And I'm starting to see my flamingo pop back out as the blue dries, so. I, uh, I shouldn't have a problem. Getting the flamingo taken care of as well. So just filling in our leaves. Like I said, we're starting with the pink carousel color. Then we're also going to use uh, a lighter pink called Cotton Candy. We're going to move to that next. Took part in a watermelon festival last weekend, and uh, the Cotton Candy made me think of it. <laughs> They had cotton candy there and funnel cakes. I did not get a funnel cake. They had blooming onions, and I wanted one of those, but I knew if I did, um, it would be it would be a long drive with heartburn. So we we held off on the onion, but I really did want one. They smelled so good. All right, I'm gonna grab the blow dryer real quick because what I am noticing is I am moving paint around rather than getting paint on um, in the place where I need it to be. So I'm just gonna hit, the, hit this with the blow dryer real quick and see if we can get, get this process going a little quicker. Matter of fact, we may do there we go. May do just a little bit more, or may do just a little bit on the sky, so that way we can get it ready. The water part uh, looks really good, so we can get our flamingo going. Want to be able to get our hibiscus taken care of. Want to get just a little more color there on that particular petal. Carousel pink is one of those colors that uh, you will move around a good bit if you're not careful. Also, it's one of those colors that I like to call a sheer color. That is, uh, you can see through unless you're doing quite a bit of, uh, quite a few layers on there. All right, so we're going to jump in here. We're going to do this one more time. Hopefully, round two will take care of it, and I can get going with the uh, cotton candy color. I think that's going to take well. All right, let me get just a little more of my carousel pink. And what's crazy is I can't, I've looked in a couple of stores, I can't find my carousel pink locally. And so I'm like, oh goodness. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to place an order with the uh, paint manufacturer and get, uh, get my color that way. So... If you're wondering, if you heard me earlier say uh, congratulations to Regina for uh, being the winner of our June Mailbox Delight, and you're wondering what is Mailbox Delight? Well, when you share my videos or uh, share anything about our website or our Pinterest page, any of those posts, you are entered into a giveaway. And what it amounts to is at the end of the month, I go back and look at all those who have shared 
uh, about quilted treasures and more. And I put them in this cute little uh, spinny wheel <laughs> that you find on the internet. You can find anything on the internet. So it's this little spinny spinning wheel that uh, you put names on and uh, give it a spin. Literally, it, it spins around and it, uh, it picks a winner for you. So Regina was our winner for this month. So congratulations, Regina be watching your mailbox. I'll be sending you a little mailbox delight or um, you can call it happy mail. Uh, that's another another name for it. But how you um, if you're sharing the video, if you come back and comment sprinkled, then I know you have spread the love. For our page and for Quilted Treasures and more. And that's how that works. All right. Oh, no. That's not good. I got a little bit of blue. Ah, baby wipe, baby wipe. I'm trying to cover up blue, not add blue. <laughs> Am I still getting blue in there, y'all? Maybe just a little bit. That, most of it will get covered up by the the next color pink. Golly. Yes, I am still getting blue. All right, that would be great if this was like for a baby shower. <laughs> pink and blue, is it a boy or a girl kind of thing? You know, a reveal. That would That would be really cool. But that's, that's not what we're doing here. We just need the pink. Just the pink and only the pink. All right, so I'm going to go over these just one more time. For the most part, I'm going to be going over with the next color pink. And it's actually going to hide a lot of these little uh, thin areas. I just like to have things covered very well before I move on to my next step. All right, just a little bit more right there. Right on that petal. Okay, I'm gonna put that, br that brush in to soak for a minute blow dry this one more time. Let's finish up with our Hibiscus and then move on. Cotton candy. Yes, this is the cotton candy. All right, now for this, I am going to get a smaller brush. Well, Okay, I'm going to use a round brush for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add and you may be thinking, well, why didn't you want it blended? This time I'm not blending the two colors. I want I want there to be kind of a distinction between the outer color of the flower and the inner color. And not all the petals will be the same. You see that I'm doing this one with a fair amount of 
the cotton candy. Well, this one This petal is going to have more of the darker color. And then this one, I may have a variation where we have some dark and light and then we come back to dark, and then a little more light. And you may be thinking, that looks a little weird. Well, hold on, because we still have some more layers to go. So. It's one thing about doing door hangers or uh, canvases. When you start out and you look at it at one stage and you're thinking, eh, I, don't, I don't think I really like that. Well, uh, I said this quite a few times last week at Paint Party Live. Just hang on. <laughs> Just hang on. Because when we get to the next stage and add another layer, then you're going to see how it looks a little different. So... Now, I am not going to rinse my brush on this one. And I know some of y'all cringe when I say that because you're like, oh no, now you're going to mix colors. Yes, we're going to be mixing a few of the colors. So here is Royal Fuchsia. It's a little bit darker. And what we're going to do is we're going to just work on giving a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of variation in the dark. like a shadow in the hibiscus. So we're gonna have one color on the outside. And then of course we've got our center, which is a little bit, I'm gonna do a shadow on both sides of this, this one. And then this one, we're going to do a shadow, and maybe a shadow in the middle, and a little bit of darker on this side, with a little bit of the light mixed in. As I get further, as the paint starts coming off the brush, you'll notice that the lighter, the cotton candy that I had, starts to come through. And so, So you end up with the different shades in the flower. You might even come down here and just kind of dab a little bit and just create maybe a little bit of variation at the toward the inner portion of of the leaf the petal not the leaf the petal so now you've got some variations there all right now in addition to, um, in addition to the darker color, what I want to do is add some white in with this as well. So I'm I'm not going to rinse. I'm just going to grab up some white, and I'm just going to take some of my white and just kind of mix it in, and just give it like some highlights.
some of those variations that you see in flowers as you see the petals. Maybe this one has some more white in the middle as it gets closer. Maybe we add just a little vein kind of here in the middle. Give it just a little bit of, a little bit of different color. You can always come back if you get too much and add some of the darker in so that way you don't lose that dark portion that you're looking for in the center. All right, so now I'm going to take the darker, which was the Royal Fuchsia, and I'm going to start with that here for our center. Then I'm going to take some cotton candy and I'm just going to work the cotton candy in just a little bit and then take some white and just add a few highlights. And then we'll come back and add a few, maybe white along the edges. And of course, we'll always come back and do a little bit of black in a little bit as well. All right, let's see. What else am I missing here for my... Um, for my hibiscus flower. I think I've got all of that taken care of. And now we can move on to our flamingo. So we are going to check Facebook one more time. Still stuck. So again, if you have left comments, I will, um, I will reply or answer any questions after we're all finished up here. Sometimes Facebook does this to me. <laughs> I get going and then the, the screen will freeze and I can't see any comments or even who is watching. But I will check it out later as soon as I finish up and we're all done. All right, so this time I'm going to start with Royal Fuchsia on the Flamingo. We're not going to use, um, if you remember, I, I did um, Carousel Pink for the Hibiscus Flower. This one, we're going to use Royal Fuchsia. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to use for the moment this round brush because here on the legs, it's easier to do the round brush. Just gonna go around get both his legs and then we'll work on the body.
Okay, so <laughs> right now we have a pair of legs. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go over this one more time. Because we'll also be adding the different layers to this as well. So there'll be different colors. Different shades of pink here too. Get his little knobby knees. All right, real quick, I am going to look and make sure I have got my picture right here. So, all right, we're gonna get some of our carousel pink, no, cotton candy pink, sorry. Cotton candy pink, and we're just gonna come right in. And I'm just gonna go over a couple of times, so that way it kind of blends in. We don't want him to be all cotton candy pink, but we want the variations. All right, now I'm gonna get some white and just come down the other side. Just some have just to have some different shading. All right, now I'm going to rinse that brush for the time being. And what I'm going to do is get a bigger brush again and work on the flamingo. All right, I'm going to turn it around this way real quick, just so you can see what it's beginning to look like. That way you can see it right side up. I may try to do the flamingo sitting this way. Let's see if we can get this accomplished without uh, me getting, getting stuff all over me. So about 15 minutes, just let y'all in on some craziness that I pull from time to time. So about 15 minutes before I hit the whole, you know, let's go live button, I decide, hey, let's change the camera position. Which meant that a light had to be changed and all that good stuff. <laughs> y'all, I don't know. Is there a full moon in addition to the 4th of July? <laughs> I do not know where I get these ideas sometimes. Yeah, you're going to go live in 15 minutes. Tear the whole the whole uh, setup apart and let's see if we can put it back together in time. I did have coffee this morning, I promise. My brain should have been functioning properly. I don't know what happened. <laughs> There's a little bit of a difference though when you're doing canvases to door hangers. And so I was like, you know, I think I can get a better angle if I go at it from this direction. So, you know, of course, like I said, that just, you know, meant that I completely disassembled uh, the whole setup.
just to see if I could get a better camera angle. A lot of times you'll see me use a uh, what they call filbert tip brush for the curves and stuff. I did not grab a filbert tip for this. Filbert tips just work uh, a little easier in the curves than flat tip brushes do. I'm going to leave this very tip end just as it is because it's going to get painted black. So we're just going to leave it be and we'll fix it momentarily. Our flamingo is coming to life, but I am going to need to, well, I don't know. I may not do the blow dryer on this. I may just do some blending with my other colors and let the other colors take care of covering up the the blue that shows through sometimes with with this color. Fall and Christmas themed paint parties are now being scheduled. And so we've got some fall templates to choose from. And we also have uh, some Christmas templates. So August, September, August, September, and October. I don't know why that sounded weird all of a sudden, but uh, all of those are available. have openings in each of those months. And so what I'm doing is I am just blending in some of the cotton candy pink. with the royal fuchsia to give a variation to the feathers.
and just blending in some of my colors there. And we'll be adding in some other things there as well. All right, and if I'm not mistaken, we do have some white that uh, our little, yeah, our flamingo friend has some white mixed in there as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the round brush and just dip in the white, to just roll it around in the white and just make some marks for some feathers. Just give a little bit of little bit of color variation. Like the sun shining off of him, making his feathers kind of glow. All right, I gotta get his eyeball and his beak done because that just kind of <laughs> I don't know. That's just kind of tripping me out or something. His head looks a lot like a snake head or something. Like, okay, it's time to find time to find the black color and, and get some get a beak put on him and and do some some other stuff. All right, before I do black though, what I want to do is I want to put a little bit of grass right here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, medium Hauser green, and again with my round brush, I'm just going to just going to put some sprigs of grass in here. some different sizes, some tall, some medium. Now, in addition to the uh, green color, I'm going to get a little bit of what is known as bluegrass green. I'm not going to put very much of that because I'm not going to need very much. So I'm not even going to rinse the brush. I'm just going to kind of mix it together. So that way we've got a little bit of Just some different colors. Showing up in our in our grass sprig there. May even have a little bit of uh, Well, we've got a little bit of white. We'll we'll add in uh, not white, black. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a few that are kind of mixed. So I'm gonna add a few more, and some of them are just gonna be kind of a mixture of the bluegrass color and the green color. Happy 4th of July! <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear the fireworks, but uh, we are celebrating. All right, so there is our little grass sprig. And now what I'm going to do is get the black, and we're going to work on getting some high outlines and highlights in 
with the black and of course get uh, I'm having one of those one of those moments y'all I've stuck my hand in white paint three times and what's sad is it's not even the paint on the plate <laughs> Okay, let's get our black paint and start doing a little bit of, I'm just going to put him off to the side over here. So I got my round brush. I'm going to go for the round brush and work on um, some highlights here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to roll my brush here in. The black paint and I'm going to start around my hibiscus, my little flower here. Either that is some really, really big fireworks that went off or there's thunder coming. Not sure which. That was pretty loud. Oh, that was pretty booming. So I don't know if, um, if that's just from far off. And somebody's got a big fireworks show going on. Or uh, if we've got thunder coming. All right, so I'm just in the process of outlining my hibiscus. And then we're going to add some... Uh, Add some other little highlights to him or her. I guess since it's a flower, maybe we should call it a her. <laughs> and again, if you're just tuning in, I cannot see comments. Facebook has pros on me. And as I mentioned earlier, I hope that it's not in the past when it has froze for me, it has continued to, to record. So I am just rolling with the flow like everything is good. Get a few little black dots in here. And then we're just going to add... Just a few little marks, not anything major, just a few little a few little highlights here and there for our flower. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and do the beak and get Get this flamingo to look a little more like himself. All right, now, right here, we've got like a T line. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go all the way around our flamingo with a dark line. I'm just going to do some outlining on him. I'm not going to do a whole lot. But I am going to do a little bit. So, like we're going to do a little on his knobby knee there. Maybe do a little on his feathers. Do just a little on his legs. Just to give a little bit of a little bit of highlight. And then we want to come make sure we get 
a little bit of separation between some of his feathers here. Just a little bit, so that way we know where where we've got. Let's see. All right, we're gonna put his eye right here. All right, now I'm gonna come back just a little bit and just a few sprigs of our grass, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a shadow look. Maybe put a few little dots there. Maybe add a few little dots in our hibiscus leaves. <laughs> that one almost looks like a smiley face. <laughs> All right. Now, hey, we need some waves, y'all. We need some waves. So let's see what we can do about, uh, let's see if I can not get paint all over me again. Somewhere on this napkin, I have got white paint, I think. And every time I grab the napkin, I end up with white paint on me. All right, I'm going to get, because I've dipped in the white and the pink so much, I'm going to get just a little bit of white here in the middle. So that way, um, I can... Got a little bit of white right there. You know what? That looks like a really good place to start with a little bit of wave action. We're not going to do a ton, but I'd like to have just a little bit of waves as far as out here and up close. I wish I knew how to do the, um, the rolling waves. Um, I'm going to play around here a little bit, y'all just to see if we can do something that kind of looks like maybe a wave that's starting to roll. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> We're not promising anything on this. And just a little bit of, you know, sunshine bouncing off. Do some thicker lines here and there. Showing a little bit thicker areas where we've got some some uh, waves going on. And then of course, you gotta have the dot in the eye. I mean, what would a flamingo be without having a dot there to show that the sun's sparkling off of sparkling off of his bright, bright eye? I'm just adding a few little highlights into the grass. All right. Hey, I think we've got our little flamingo all squared away and ready to go. I'm going to look one more time here and see. I am going to clean up right here along this line. I don't like that dark line right there. 
So I think I'm going to go back and do just a little bit of blue and kind of cover that up just a little bit, but I'll do that. And I may add some birds. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about that one. Birds are pretty easy because it's almost like making the letter M and then you just add a little extra for the body. So we may add some birds into the sky. Well, I hope y'all have a great 4th of July, the rest of your uh, Sunday afternoon. And if you have tomorrow off, I hope you enjoy your day. I hope y'all have a great week. Don't forget if you spread the love for the video or uh, the website uh, promo or the Pinterest promo or um, any of our promos, then I will put your name in the drawing for, at the end of the month for the Mailbox Delight. And again, congratulations, Regina. And just keep watching your mailbox. I hope y'all have a great evening and have a wonderful week.